Motor Week is made possible by Lucas Oil, TireRack.com, and RockAuto.com. There was a time when we thought that big American cars were gone for good. From the gas crunch of the 70s to the arrival of Japanese luxury cars in the late 80s, the big Luxo boat seemed doomed. The domestic automakers knew better. They've been selling large luxury cars to Americans since before any of us were born. And they knew that sooner or later, people would start demanding that big Detroit iron once again. And no car currently says big better than the latest Cadillac Fleetwood. It's over 18 feet of classic Cadillac. But Cadillac's biggest car is no antique. Like its predecessor, our rear-drive Cadillac Fleetwood Brougham test car is huge. When compared to its more compact competition, there's no doubt that the Fleetwood is the physical king of the road. And while some of our staff thought that the car should come standard with a trip to truck driving school or a harbor pilot, the aerodynamic styling is very much in line with the current Cadillac look. This combination of size and style should please older traditional Cadillac buyers. But with a full manifest of standard safety features and electronic technology, the 93 Fleetwood may even appeal to a few of the younger affluent customers that now recognize Cadillac as a viable alternative to luxury imports. The SS Fleetwood is powered by Cadillac's big 5.7 liter throttle body fuel injected V8. It produces only 185 horsepower, but a boatload of torque, 300 pound feet. Towing capacity is a full 7,000 pounds. Cast off the lines and the Fleetwood reaches 60 miles per hour in a brisk 10.5 seconds. A quarter mile takes 17.8 seconds at 78 miles per hour. Bottom end power is plentiful and the standard Bosch traction control system allows you to use every bit of it. The smooth shifting automatic transmission and flat power band give the Fleetwood a feel that is at odds with the car's 4,418 pound curb weight but it's a lack of feel that distinguishes the handling. Like previous big caddies, the Fleetwood almost totally isolates its driver from outside input. Despite variable assist power steering, we couldn't feel the road. Our handling test showed, however, that the Fleetwood suspension still offers plenty of grip. Moderate front plow becomes gradual oversteer, and once our drivers became used to the car, the big caddy could bop through the cones with the best of them. And this isolation can be an advantage on long trips, where the seamless ride and low 64 decibel interior noise level make long hours on the road easy to take. EPA fuel mileage is rated at 16 city, 25 highway. We got 19 miles per gallon. Throw the anchor out and the Fleetwood standard ABS equipped brakes bring it down from 60 in an average distance of only 125 feet. Impressive for such a big car. Stability was excellent despite heavy nose dive. A dozen hard test stops produce some smoke from hot pads, but no fade. With the Fleetwood's performance measuring well up to par, we turned our attention to the cavernous interior. It's also been completely redesigned and grows by 18 cubic feet. A stateroom on the Queen Mary is smaller. The new dash is clean and graceful, and it features both driver and passenger side airbags as standard equipment. The front seats are wide and flat, so expect to slide around a bit in turns. But their generous padding and new split frame design allow for a wide range of adjustment and plenty of support. The Brome's power seat package includes lumbar adjustment, seat heaters, and a two position memory. But there's no provision for seat belt height adjustment, something we consider essential in such a large car. The easy to read digital gauges are the basic units that we've come to expect in big Cadillacs. Customers want them, so Cadillac delivers. The same can be said of the straightforward automatic climate controls, simple and direct. As is the optional stereo, which handles both cassettes and compact discs. It sounds as good as it looks. Convenience features include a large fold-down center armrest that holds a storage box and cup holder. Rear seat room is naturally generous. You won't find space like this in a Lexus. And you could rent out the trunk to a family of five. Liftover is high, but a full 20.8 cubic feet of space makes it easier to live with, and power trunk lid pull-down is standard. As for the Fleetwood's price, the standard car will cost you $33,900. Our padded top brome starts at $36,240 and comes to $38,216 with options. 
Fully loaded, the Fleetwood's price and luxury quotient are comparable to its only real competitor, the Lincoln Town Car. The Town Car does have a more advanced engine and it handles better. But the Town Car has a harsher ride, also a lower towing capacity, a smaller interior, and lacks the Fleetwood standard traction control. In our safety check, the Fleetwood Brome passes with both driver and passenger airbags, rear shoulder belts, and anti-lock brakes all standard. Quite impressive. So much so that one staffer who always disliked big cars is now a firm believer in the merits of Detroit's big boats. That's how skillfully the Fleetwood blends modern performance with traditional Cadillac comfort and room. The Fleetwood might even redefine some automotive slang, changing the term boat from a derogatory reference about clumsiness to a compliment. We certainly wouldn't mind taking a long cruise in this one.